Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel if you are a subscriber and if you are new here, my name is Juliet Kane. I post new recipes on my channel, on my blog, on my Instagram, on my Twitter, on all my social media platforms. So subscribe here and follow me over there so that you don't miss out on any new recipes. Um, also we hit 3000 about two weeks ago so thank you so much for everyone who subscribes and who believes in my content. I really appreciate that. Okay, so let's get into the recipe. So today's recipe as you've seen in the caption we are going to be making dough and we are going to be making burger buns originally i was going to do this recipe as a whole chicken burger recipe but then i figured making the dough and the buns the dough for the buns is a whole process in itself and this recipe would be really important because um, you can use this dough to make pizza dough to make burger buns to make hot dog buns to make actual bread to make pita bread to make um what else any like it's a basic dough recipe that you can use for all those so um i thought it was important to post it as a solo recipe so that's what we are going to do and i'm going to post the chicken burger recipe tomorrow so if you're not subscribed you're going to miss out on that one and i'm also going to be making shawarmas but that's already posted on my instagram so if you're not following me on instagram you're going to miss out on that because i'll save it on the highlights anyway so let's get into this recipe so here are our ingredients today here we have about a pinch of salt i have about three to four tablespoons of sugar this really depends on how much of a sweet tooth you are um i have five cups of flour here and one extra cup for kneading and then I have a cup of warm water. You might need more or less. So we are going to add it slowly. I also have about three to five tablespoons of oil. This will really help me in the kneading. And finally, I have some instant yeast. So today I'm using instant yeast. Um, because it's instant yeast, I don't need to bloom it in water before using it here. I can use it directly from the packet. I'm using 10 grams of it. And I like buying it in, in small sachets like this because I don't bake or I don't make leave and dough too many times. So I find that when I buy the bigger one, over time it loses its well, its potency, yes. So I prefer buying it into in small sachets, sachets, what? I don't even know how to talk today like this anyway. So I'm just going to add it straight into my flour. And then I'm going to be adding sugar and then I'm going to be adding my let's say two pinches of salt and then I will create a well in the middle where I will be adding my water once we get to this point where most of the flour and the water has been mixed together as you can see i've used about one and a half cups of water i'll add in some oil now at this point it's time to get my hands dirty so what i like to do is i put some amount of oil on my hands just a generous amount before i get into the dough and then i start kneading so the secret to making a good dough is to knead for about 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm going to flour the countertop generously before adding this here and we are going to knead, knead, knead this for 15 to 20 minutes. We want it to be really soft. We don't want it to stick to the hands. I want this hand to look like this at the end of this. And if you have a hand mixer, you can use it use the dough attachment it will, you'll need to go about 10 minutes instead of 15 but you know what if you don't have one get your hands dirty with me so this at this point all we are doing is kneading so in the middle of kneading i'm going to be adding a bit of oil throughout the kneading process So 
once our dough is done, once you're done kneading your dough, please don't get tired of kneading your dough. Aha. Uh -huh. Once you're done, I'm going to take a bit more oil, put it in the bowl we started with, just spread it all around, and then I'm going to take my dough into a nice bowl. It's just so moist, so soft. And then I'm going to place it in the bowl. I'm going to take a clean kitchen towel, cover this up, and let it sit for 40, about 40 minutes to one hour. It will probably double or triple in size. And then after that, we're going to come back. And okay, basically, once you let it rise for the first time, after that, after you need it again, you can now use it to make whatever you want. So maybe you are making pizza, then you will turn it into a pizza dough. If you are making bread, then you will put it into your bread tin. If you are making buns, you will do the same. I'll show you guys how I make my buns for my chicken burgers, just to show you an example of the first proofing and the second proofing. So you can either, if you're in a cold place, you can leave it in the oven. Don't put your oven on, just leave it in the oven because it's a bit warmer than outside but for now it's not cold outside there's a bit of sun so i'm just going to leave it on my countertop for 40 minutes to one hour to let it double in size and then i'll show you guys how it looks after that hi so we are back here about an hour later as you can see it has maybe tripled in size and i want to deflate this knead it again uh, i'll divide this into two because i'm using one for pita bread and one for burgers So I'm going to put this back, this to the fridge, because I'm not making my pita bread now. I'm going to be making it later. So I'll put it, I'll put it in the fridge so that I can slow down the process of the yeast because I'm not going to be using it now. If I leave it on the countertop because it's pretty warm, it's going to keep proofing and proofing. But if I put it in the fridge, um, then it will stop it for a while before I make the pita bread. And for this is what I'm going to be making my buns. I'll apply some oil to the bottom of my baking pan. So this is the pan I'm going to bake with this bun. You see, I've given them enough space to swell up, so don't put them too close together or they'll end up like joining at the edges and I'm going to take the towel that I had used earlier and just cover them up and let them proof on the countertop just as I had done the first time and then after the second proofing that's when we'll put them in the oven and first of all we'll do an egg wash and then I'll show you guys so yeah second proofing about 20 to 30 minutes not one hour like the first time back here this have been proofing for about let's say 30 minutes and i want to finish off before putting them in the oven this is an egg i want to beat this egg and make an egg wash the egg wash will help in browning browning them and giving them a nice um shiny finish kitchen brush and just um brush the top of the buns I'm going to finish off with some black sesame seeds. I'm going to throw this in the oven to bake for about 10 to 12 minutes. As usual, I have preheated my oven for about 8 to 10 minutes at 180 degrees, so do not forget to preheat your oven. We have come to the end of this video um as you can see here i went ahead and made the burgers the video for these burgers will be up tomorrow so subscribe and 
watch out for that one i hope the recipe to make dough helped you out and if you did and if you do try this recipe please don't forget to send me photos on instagram or on twitter or wherever i love seeing your creations thank you so much for watching um and have a lovely day or whatever time you're watching have a lovely day and have a lovely week bye